Hello, fellow hunters, and welcome back to Call of the Wild. We are continuing our adventures in Cuatro Colinas, working to unlock the entire map, all the points of interest, as well as get one gold uh, trophy animal of each type here on the map. As of this episode, we have three different types of Ibex left, the Besiete, the Gredos, and the Southeast Spanish Ibex. So we need to get one of each of those, gold, trophy, or better, before we leave here. I mean, obviously, we're not going to stay if we don't get it, but... Uh, you know, that's the goal. The goal is to get all of that. And I figured I'd take a shot. That's fine. Uh, the loadout for today is the uh, Malmer 7mm, the 243 pistol, the Sunberg 454 for defense against the dark arts, and for our small game we have the 12 gauge shotgun and the 22 pistol. This is for close range and this is for if we happen to catch something out in the open that we can shoot at a distance don't really have, or at least the plan for today is we're going to head down and grab basically this entire area down here. The overall goal the overall goal is to kind of try to zigzag our way down the map. We can't, we're kind of over here in the last episode, so now let's, let's uh, go ahead and get this area <clears throat> opened up and ready to go. I generally put, I generally uh, pause recording in between uh, different areas, especially when we have a long way to go, so I will see you guys back here when there's something interesting going on. We got a wolf here. And a wild boar off in that direction. I don't know if we're gonna get a chance at that one though. He was he's probably right over the hill there. Yeah, he's probably over the hill. Uh, let's go grab this wolf. We'll try to run over the hill and maybe see well I wanna get I wanna get one of the big purposes of doing these maps this way and exploring the way we are is to try to get all of these need zones so that when we come back we know where to go. All right, where's this, where's this wolf? The last place we saw it was over here, and then we'll try to charge up over the hill and see if maybe we can catch those wild boar before they run away. I wouldn't say that I'm, oh, we needed to harvest this wolf anyway. Nicely done. Okay, so let's go see if Our we can get this, these boars over here, and then we'll go across the bridge. So I am hoping to have answers soon. I'll let you know if the test indicate rabies. If it turns out to be the case, I hope we've caught it early. Please exercise extra caution, and let me know if you find anything out of the ordinary. I am huh? having the strangest day. I just received a call from Sole Santiago, one of my neighbors. She is an olive farmer who has become a, a de facto representative for most of the people working the land here. She told me that one of our farmers has had his barn broken into, which is strange enough for a barn in the middle of nowhere. What makes it truly bizarre is that this farmer's tractor has had the tires slashed. Apparently, there are footprints that lead from the barn. I know that you weren't planning Ooh, you got a one-hit kill. I, don't, I hope I didn't hit it in the head. Here. But if you could put your tracking prowess to use, I'd appreciate it. Santiago told me that the farmer who owns the tractor was opening up this morning when he spotted that the lock on the barn was broken. Sometimes neighbors get a little petty and do stupid things, but Armando is such a sweet man. He wakes up early, tends to his crops, and goes home. I can't imagine anybody wanting to do this to him. He seems pretty surprised about it all, too. Yeah, they went behind the hill. I was going to go after this road deer that was over here, but then I got distracted by the pigs. 70, 68. 66. We need... I'd like to get a diamond, but we need a 140 something for that. I'm not really that interested in road deer. Yeah, unfortunately, none of these are particularly interesting, so we'll just grab this guy and move on. Oh, it's fleet. All right, well, at least we got a kill shot on that. This one's a little silver. We got him double lung. Oh, okay. I was afraid I hit him in the head, but we got him right there. He had the double lung and a heart shot, so 
my leading skills on that one was a lot better than it normally is. <clears throat> I normally underestimate how far I have to lead in this game because the bullet travel, the bullet speed in this game is pretty, pretty slow from what you would think it should be. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've shot, uh, I've shot moving targets as part of uh, my Marine Corps training at, you know, 200 meter, 200 yards, 200 meters, and you barely have to lead to get a really good shot. Okay, so we ended up getting a liver shot, so that's good. Very cool. A little bit more money in the bank. Let's just double check and make sure there's nothing interesting. 74. Iberian Mouflon. I'm not particularly interested in those, especially since they're all females. So and it's only a 74. We really we really need to get we need really need to come across some uh, very large pigs, but uh, unfortunately we're not there. So we're gonna continue on to the lookout point in that direction. We'll grab this need zone right here while we do it, and off we go. Just heard a pheasant within 100 meters of me, we give a warning call. It says it's fleeing already, but if it's still on the ground, we may get a chance to see it pop up. It should be, I mean, this is a big, oh, here he is. Come on, fly away. 14. Jeez. So for the ringneck pheasant, 14 is not a gold. Oh. Yeah, somehow I just... I don't know. There's something with me and the shotgun that I just don't get. Which makes sense because, you know, I've shot a lot of rifles and pistols in my life, but never, I've never, I don't think I've ever shot a shot... I've never fired a shotgun in real life. This wasn't something we covered um, in the Marine Corps. If you go through, I think you I think you do shotgun training if you do some of the security force stuff, but I never had to do that. Somehow I shot six rounds at those things and <laughs> didn't hit a single thing. You would think that the cone of all of that would do something, but I don't know. I felt like they were relatively close to me too. But that's okay. Uh, Roe deer. Fifty-seven. That's not really worth putting some time into. So we're going to continue running off to the lookout point here so we can hopefully finish exploring this area. Another Iberian move on there. I have no idea what the quality of that shot was. Uh, his health did not immediately start dropping, which means we probably only got a... Uh... He went down quick. I'll run over, see what I can find, and uh, be back when we are able to see it. I only had a, bleed, a medium bleed rate. I was going to say a bleedium bleed rate. <laughs> Oops. All right, let's see how we did. Okay, yeah, we did not get... Somehow I hit him in the butt. He would have been a gold, but I hit him in the butt instead of the chest. That would have been a really nice one. We, we, we have a couple of golds already. It's not that big of a deal if we don't grab that. I'm really looking for the three remaining Ibex. We already got the Ronda, so I'm not that... So obviously we're not worried about that particular version of the Ibex, but we really want to grab the other three. Got a peasant right here. Come on, run. Oh, come on. I won't get him to score for that. I don't have time to sit and wait for that. <laughs> also have a bunch of wolves howling nearby, so we may be under attack here in just a second. They were howling very close. Maybe my shotgun blast scared them off, though. Either way, we need to run up to this lookout point over here. So I'll be back when we're there, or if we get attacked by the... Oh. Okay. 
Okay, well, I finally hit something. So clearly, I think clearly my problem is I'm just not leading enough, just like every other thing, every other thing I shoot. I always, I always feel like I shouldn't have to lead as far as you end up needing to, but uh, we ended up getting this guy. He looks massive. Nice. Okay, cool. 17.6. Yeah, okay. So I just I really need to lead quite a lot then. That's uh that seems to be the issue that we're having. So hopefully that means I can start getting a little bit better with the shotgun if I just keep in mind I need to lead like way ahead of where I think I need to hit him. There we go. Oop. Hello, shotgun please. Okay, not don't need to lead quite so far when they're right in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> little female bronze, but oh yeah, we got her all kinds of messed up. <laughs> uh, okay, um, we'll run in this direction just to get some more practice shooting these things, and hopefully I can catch one in the air relatively far away, and I can try to lead it like I did the last time. So let's we'll we'll run up the hill here and give this a shot. I just, I do need a lot more practice with the shotgun. Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, okay. They want to fight me. Any more? Okay, well, we'll take this guy out then. Where is he? I'm gonna go grab this guy, hopefully. I mean, I imagine... I imagine the one died already. Okay, that one's gone. Where's the other one? Usually they flee once you kill one. Somehow, I did not manage to get a vital shot on... Oh, wait. So where's the first one I shot? Or did I miss the second shot? Hmm. I guess I missed the second shot. Alright. Well, let's go get this lookout point here, and we'll move on. I'm sure the, I'm sure the pheasant that we were looking at is a long gone now. Really looking forward to the speed loader becoming a thing here soon. Uh, ideally tomorrow. That would be nice. Won't take nearly as long to reload. And we can also put it in single action mode so that we can shoot very quickly. So that'll be nice. Do I have... Make sure I reload everything. And we'll let's go ahead and grab the lookout point here. Now this is a nice view, I must say. So, um, I guess what we need to do... Oh, dang, okay. Uh, I guess what we'll do then is we'll swing around like this, and then head over here, come down and grab that one. That's all I can really think to do. Yeah, that's not too far away. A little over half a kilometer. That'll take us through a nice big open area too, so hopefully we'll find something interesting as we run off in that direction. So the European here. I think I saw another one. I think we got two out of all of that, maybe three. So a nice silver here. Barely caught that one. Technically, I don't think we got that, but the game sometimes bugs out and gives you kills that you probably shouldn't have got. Okay, well, we hit that one pretty well. Just didn't really penetrate. So do we have one more? And 
not getting another spotting cue there, so I'm guessing not. I'm going to keep my... well, no. I want to have my binoculars out because we're about to get out into a very open area, and I want to be able to look around and see if there's anything nearby. Welcome to the outpost in the middle of the field of purple flowers. I always liked, I like... I like these purple flowers. I don't know why. They look very... very nice. Very pretty. Ringneck pheasant mating call. We'll get this outpost. I'm going to run over there real quick just to see. Because he's up... he's 300 meters away. So maybe we can... Uh, maybe we can... Oh. I think... Which way did we come in from? Uh, I think he was off in this direction. So uh, I'm going to pull out my shotgun here. And we're going to chart... I mean, we have to... We need to go in this direction for our waypoint anyways. But I just want to see if maybe we can get a shot at this guy. Because I really want to practice that... Leading, shoot, leading flying birds with a shotgun. So I'm hoping he's over here. Hoping we'll get a noise from him. Because it was a male. I don't see anything, though. Come on. Come on. Where is it? We're going to get all the way to this hunting stand over here. Yeah, the only problem with doing the outpost is, is I, I think it might have turned me around in a different direction than I was. So now I don't know where that one, where where the, uh, where the pheasant was. So unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get that one. But that's all right. It's not that big of a deal. All right, so we need to move down to... Oh, here we go. We're gonna run off in this direction. We'll, we'll we'll go back and get the other the other waypoint here in a second. I just want to go see if maybe I can establish a sight picture for shooting these guys with a shotgun. So, said it was off in this direction. I haven't seen anything fly away yet. have thought to have seen something by now. Oh, there it is. He's taking a sweet time. Got him that time. Well, I hit him. Fortunately, he didn't go down. Saw blood. I saw a mist of blood hit something. Or I saw a mist of blood like spray out all over the place. I would have thought that that would have been enough. Okay, yeah, he did die. So we should be right over here somewhere. How many times I hit him. Okay, he was just a silver. Oh, he was so close to gold too. Barely, barely nicked him with one of the pellets. But that's okay. We're gonna continue on to the next waypoint. Hmm. For some reason, my call to action will not disappear. There it goes. Weird. All right, we are approaching a hunting stand over here, but there was also a. Ringneck pheasant here. Still giving a mating call, and we're running within 150 meters, so I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna keep a lookout for him. There we got the warning call. I have no idea what size he is. He's gotta be around here somewhere. Where is he? He was out in the open. He was out in the open. I'm not sure what happened. Somehow lost him. He was just standing over here next to the hunting stand. Four over 
here. 113. Dog. Um, okay. <laughs> what is going on with these guys? Oh, waited too long. Well, we hit it, but unfortunately, that's not going to do it. All right, well, I really mucked that up pretty bad. We're going to head over in this direction. That mouflon's going to die, but we clearly are not... Clearly are not going to get a, uh, a decent score out of him. I don't even think he was up in the gold range anyway, so... Let's continue on towards our destination. We're going to keep going this way, head over here, and then probably run that way. Or I don't know. We might come down this way. We can finish out the episode over here. Yeah, let's go over here. We'll finish out the episode over here, hopefully find a, an outpost over here. In the next episode, we can kind of work our way towards the middle of the map. I think that's kind of the plan that we're going to go with for now. Deer here. Oh, I thought he was going to... He always changed directions. I think we just nicked him. Oh, well. Off we go. All right. We had to climb up a really big hill to get over here, but uh, we now have a flag point of interest here. It isn't always easy running a game reserve that happens to include large patches of farmland. It's a unique arrangement where we take care of the pests that a farmer normally has to deal with, but we still cultivate animal populations in the area. When everyone pitches in, the arrangement works. Oh, well, there you go. Um, I was getting warning calls from some mouflon over here, but... Oh, Iberian wolf. 34 to 36 could reasonably be a gold. I mean, I wouldn't say reasonably. That's it's probably asking a lot for it to be a gold. But uh, let's see if maybe we can get a we can line up a shot for it. Or you know what? Let's just uh, let's see if we can get its attention. Wow! Doesn't seem to be at all bothered. Let's uh, let's run off towards it then. Should pick up our scent here pretty quick. I'm actually going to switch over to my pistol. It seems awfully relaxed for a wolf. Uh, it's fleeing now. Okay. That's fine. It wasn't particularly impressive. So, I mean, unless we're, we already have a gold, unless we're going to get a diamond out of that, I'm not overly concerned about grabbing another wolf. We already have plenty of those. I actually need to go back to my trophy lodge at some point. I haven't really done that in a while. All right, well, I'm going to continue on to the, uh, the lookout point off in that direction. I'll be right back. All right, here we go. The lookout point. Climb up the tower, grab that, uh, grab the map for the area, and then head over to, hopefully, an outpost very near close. Hopefully, it'll be very nearby. Don't really want to have to run another kilometer to get to one. That'll suck. <laughs> okay. Ugh, these stairs are slow. Super slow. <clears throat> All right, to grab the lookout point here. New locations added to the map. Okay, um, so I think what we'll do is, is we'll come down this way and hit this outpost here. I'm not sure why they would have put both of these together like that. Uh, we'll end the episode at that outpost. I'm hearing growling. That one's gone. 
Might have been the only one. Nice, got another gold. So we'll go ahead and tax him, because why not? First shot was in the spine, sort of. Oh, and then we got him all the way through there. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> okay. Um, what? It, I think we got him, like, all the way through the butt. That's an interesting shot. He looks like we got him in the butt. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, that was uh, that was a little bit ridiculous. Off we go to uh, what this looks like is probably just going to be a uh, looks like it's just going to be a uh, hunting stand, and then we'll head over to the lookout or the outpost over there. So I'm not overly worried about red deer, especially since none of these are really gold potential, but. Since we have them standing out here in the middle of the field, I'm going to take a shot at this guy and see if maybe we can get a nice... Oops, I'm going to wait for him to stand back up. Got a couple of males, but it's all mostly females here. So I'm going to wait for him to stand up, and then we'll try to take a shot. Right there. Should have been a nice long shot. Trying to reload. Button didn't respond. Maybe we can take another shot of this guy. Come on. Oh, he went. they went over the hill. Boo! Alright, well, at least we got one. Let me go find him, and we'll see how we did. And this is the one that we ended up shooting first. Yep, got right in the lung. That's exactly where I wanted it to be. Unfortunately, it does not look like we got... Oh, we got a quick kill bonus out of that. That's cool. 99. Not too shabby. All right, well, let's go get this... Uh, well, let me double check and make sure that other one didn't die. <laughs> let's go get this outpost over here. All right, and welcome to the last outpost for this episode. Hopefully you guys had lots of fun. Be sure to click that like button so the YouTube algorithm knows that you did and sends a video out to as many people as possible. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so now so that when the next video comes out, it will show up in your video feed and you'll be able to watch it as soon as it becomes available. Channel members do get early access to all of my content, so be sure to click that join button. Check out the list of options that are available there depending on which tier that you choose and decide if any of those are right for you. If you're not interested in a continuing commitment, there is the thanks button that will allow you to do a one-time contribution uh, to just show your support for the channel. Direct contributions like this are greatly appreciated and a critical component to help turn, help to turn this into a full-time gig. So again, thank you very much for your time. Hope you guys enjoyed the hunt, and I'll see you for the next one.